Welcome back. The defeat of the LTTE has meant much for Sri Lanka. A new start and another chance at peace. But for the government, it also means that they now have uncontested control over the country. As rumours of upcoming general elections and the framing of a new constitution circulate in the media, opposition parties are once again expressing concerns over the existence of an executive presidency. In our next story, we take a look at two major calls for the abolition of the executive presidential system that took place this week and the last. October 27, 2009. Concerned over signs of a premature presidential election in the near future, the JVP mobilized a protest march in Colombo to voice their displeasure. At the protest, crowds called upon the president to live up to the promise made in his election manifesto in 2005 to abolish the executive presidency, which grants the head of state sweeping powers including the right to perform any act permissible within the written provisions in the Constitution and immunity from legal proceedings related to both official and private matters. The JVP were instrumental in bringing the present government into power stepping in as a key coalition partner of the UPFA in 2005. One of the conditions on which the JVP pledged its support to the government was that the executive presidency, which had prevailed since the 1978 constitution, would be abolished altogether. The JVP are clearly unhappy about the broken pact. Now, with signs of an upcoming presidential election, they are redoubling their efforts to deny President Rajapaksa another six-year term in office as the executive president. The JVP are not alone in opposing the executive presidency. With upcoming elections in view, the main opposition party, the UNP, signed a memorandum of understanding with 12 other political parties to work towards forming what they describe as a people-friendly government. The signing of the MOU took place at the parliamentary complex on the 3rd of November 2009. A key policy statement of the coalition, who gathered under the banner of the United National Front, is to abolish the executive presidency within 180 days if they are elected into power. The 
मेरठे वंचाव दूषणे होरकमीन पर पालने के अतिक्रमण मेरठे हम दिनागे में आयुष्वास का आरक्षा करन ये वाके में मेरठे जनता व नगासितवन अलूट व्यापार एक खटेटा या पिमे बैठे पीरोल आरंभ कर लेते बिन न विधायक जनाजिपति कम आरक्षा कर ला राजा आंडू आरक्षा करना द न तन जनता बाले आरक्षा करन ट एक संक्षोभ देने करना द किए ने का अपने दीर्घ वासन कता करन सुधर आपे पक्ष इट पास जो अनिक पक्ष एक कते कते कतुए ला कता करन के इन्हीं साथ आमाई आपे में तेंटे ले कटे कतुए ला एक अंग उने ये विधायक जना अधिपति कम आहोसी करा the parties present here have often critiqued the government for stifling democracy and failing to live up to its promises to the people. With no hope that the executive presidency will in fact be abolished by the current government, the parties have seized this opportunity to attempt a shift of power with the next general elections. <laughs> इताम उन्नत्वेन, बलापुरुत्वेन, मेराटे, वैनसाक अतिवेय युति, अतिकिरी मटे, तीन देशपान बलवेग तुला, विशेष एम विपक्षे, पक्ष तुला, एकतुआक, एकमुतुआक अतिवेय युति किए नहीं बलापुरुत्व, तीन अवस्थावक अभी एक पीस चिन्ह विशेष एम अभी विधायक जनादिपति दूर है इवत किरी में संधा नाती किरी में संधा आरंतीन में पियवर इधर ये टेकने आयु तो ही विशेष एम अंतवादे कराया ने युगे का मध्यस्थ मातृय नियोजने करना सिंहल देमल मुस्लिम जनता व नियोजने करना सिविल समाज या नियोजने करना वैधकरण जनता व नियोजने करना ये वाकी म महाजनता व तो उसी मुकाल ने वन नव संधान या कहते हैं तापी संधान कराने देंगे